So if you're facing a problem with your iPhone where all apps or some apps are refusing to open, then there are two main reasons. And I'll be showing you how to address those reasons and fix that problem. The main reason why apps may not be opening on your iPhone is because of internet connection, okay? So make sure you have an active internet connection, check your Wi-Fi, check your mobile data, and make sure whatever internet you're using is actually working. A quick way of telling what, uh, of telling whether you have internet connection is to open an app like YouTube and see if you can load videos and then you can tell whether your phone is actually connected, okay? Now, also YouTube might not be working. It could be one of the problematic apps. So once you ensure that you have proper internet, whether it's Wi-Fi or mobile data, the other thing you want to do is check if you have enough free storage space. Now, for apps to operate properly on your iPhone, you need some free storage space. So if your iPhone is completely full, uh, then you might have trouble starting or using some applications. So to check that, just go into settings. Let's just go back to the main settings page. On the main settings page, tap on general, and then under general, look at iPhone storage. And as you can see, I have plenty of free storage space. This is something that's very important. Now, if you find that your iPhone is full or almost full, then you might want to create some space. You can go ahead and delete some photos or videos in the in the photo library. You can go ahead and uninstall some apps that you don't use that much. Just fine. There are plenty of ways of clearing your iPhone storage. You can go into WhatsApp. So for instance, you can see my WhatsApp has 14.6 gigs. There's really no reason for that. That means there's a lot of media in my WhatsApp application, chewing up unnecessary storage space on my iPhone. And you can go uninstalling apps. So for instance, this is a game I haven't used in a long time, occupying 3.51 gigs of storage space. So this is an example of an app you can go ahead and uninstall, especially if you don't use it. And the more storage space you create, the more your phone gets faster and all the apps should start loading. So that's the second thing you might want to do. Now, thirdly, if it's only a specific app that's refusing to uh, to work, then you might want to look at an update. So let's say it's Facebook Messenger, all right, for example. So just go to the Apple App Store, find that app and check if there's a pending update. So for instance, for Facebook Messenger, like I mentioned, just go there and check if this button says update, that means there's a pending update. But if it says open, it means you're running the latest version. And if it's still problematic, then you might want to look at reinstalling the app. And that includes uninstalling the app and then reinstalling it back, okay? So that those are the few things you can do in case apps are refusing to work on your iPhone. The last thing I want you to do if everything you've tried is not working is to force restart your iPhone. So you've checked all the other things, you have enough storage space, you have an active internet connection, you, you're running the latest updated versions of the apps and your apps are still not working, you might want to look at first restarting your iPhone. Now, first restarting will clear cache, some cache data you might not even be able to see or delete. And it basically resets a lot of things. So to do that, press volume up, volume down, and then long press on the side button. And this has to be quick, volume up, volume down, and then long press on the side button until the screen goes dark. And then you see the Apple logo. So just keep holding, still holding, still holding. Apple logo appears. Uh, that's going to force restart or reboot your iPhone. And that should fix any problem you might have. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly also subscribe for more tips, and I will talk to you in the comment section or in the next one. Good luck.